In this video, I want to talk to you about NTFS and share permissions. Specifically, I want to go over each one of these permissions that you can apply and just give you a quick understanding of them and kind of burn it into your brain a little bit because you need to be able to recognize these on the exam. So let's start off with the NTFS permissions. The first NTFS permission that you can apply is full control. It does just what it sounds like. The users can do anything to the file, including take ownership of the file. Now, Microsoft recommends that you grant this level of access only to administrators. The modify permission allows users to view and modify files and file properties. They can also delete and add files to a directory, and they can also work with the file properties on a file. So that's modify. Now, with modify, the users notice here cannot take ownership nor can they change permissions on the file. Next up is read and execute. The users can run executable files and scripts in the folders, and they can read the data that's in the files in the folders. Now, list folder contents is interesting. This simply allows the users to view a list of the folder's contents. The read permission allows users to view files and file properties in the folders. And the write permission, pretty straightforward, users can write to a file. Basically, they can make changes. Now, over on the share permission side, it's a little simpler. And some of the permissions that you can grant are a little different. First up is the read permission. This simply allows users to view the file in the subfolder names, the files in the folders, and they can run program files. The change permission means that you have all the read permissions, plus the user can add files and subfolders, they can change the data in the files, and they can delete files and subfolders. And then the big one on the share permissions, full control. You have all the read and change permissions, plus if that share is on an NTFS file or folder, the user can change permissions. So that's kind of the administrative level on share permissions. So make sure these are familiar to you. Make sure you know which goes with NTFS or share, and you should be able to navigate the correct answers relatively easy on the exam when it comes to NTFS and share permissions. 